Hello, welcome back to the channel. So today I am here to share with you um, a project that I did using some of the um, items that I was sent by your creative studio. Um, so in this, it was actually called the um, botanical um, kit. I think it was from the summer sometime, but it had so much different stuff in it. And what I did was, I was able to use a bunch of stuff out of here. And I made this a vintage style door mini album using Scrap Diva Designs um, door mini album die set. So I made one already but I made it a card and I wasn't very happy with it but anyway this one I went ahead and made a album out of it so I have some stuff strung on the sides here so just some beads it's just with some gold thread I'll tie it around so what I did was um, so I used um, some uh, craft style um, color cardstock to cut out my base and then I layered it up with um, pieces from the collection so there were pieces there's so much you get in this kit I have a ton left but there was all different kinds of pieces like um, there was paper pieces and things that seemed kind of like paper things that, that were really light paper there was vellum pieces you know in the same designs so this is the, this one I used here was kind of the paper. And this is the paper. Here on my doors, I used the vellum pieces. And then, um, yeah, I paired it up with some of this paper that I still had from years ago. Um, I think this is the only paper I had left that was kind of vintage style. And I love the way my mind's eye does vintage. You know, it's not too much. So now I only have like one sheet left. <laughs> Take me forever to use it. That was from what year? If it's see if it says the year. Mm, I don't see the year on it. So, but anyway, it's old. <laughs> so um, I used some of the vellum on here. I've got a cute little um, metal. Uh, corner piece that I hooked right there. Um, this die right here is a um, kind of a wreath. Um, it kind of looks like a snowflake, but it's 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 got you know like holly berries and leaves and stuff. So that's attached to the one side, and then I use the um, Scrap Diva um, Santa bow, just the two top pieces, to make these. And what I made these out of. The back piece is made out of a piece of the paper from the from the my mind's eye, but this bow is made from there's some of these oh in this pack there's all these like strips of different different pieces like this and so this I took off it's it's a sticker so I peeled it off so it's a real thin almost like a washi so I peeled that off and then I, I stuck it down to um, you know some heavier cardstock and then I was able to use um, the die and cut it out so that's what's used on here but I, I thought it was pretty cool I was able to make a Christmas item using a bunch of these things that were in the kit that was more there's like a there's like flamingo and um, toucans and all kinds of like palm leaves those kind of things in the kit um, but there were other pieces mixed in too that were you know, they were just like a floral or something like that, but with the colors and the design, I was able to um, to use a bunch of them. So um, this is a Spellbinders, uh, what should I call it, poinsettia dye flower that I used and cut out with the from the pattern papers. Um, this little piece right here is a ephemera type piece from it came. It was in this little box right here, and you know I. Can't root. I don't read that language, so I'm not sure what those say they are, but there are all kinds of little pieces in here. 
So I used one of these and then I took some little stickers that I had and I put the, the two in the five for 25. So I used a bunch of those on here and then I just atta attached a little um, black and white uh, plaid bow that um, Deborah made me. So there's that and then you just open it up um, and then on this page here is a backing of the My Mind's Eye paper and then this little gold uh, deer I had. Here again is some more of these, those, that, this piece right here is from the strip that I just showed you in this pack and I used, used one of Scrap Diva's um, uh, pin flags to cut out that shape and then there's some more um, flowers and one of the flower, the back part is cut out in patterned paper, but this top part here the is cut out with this um, vellum from this kit also. Okay, and then it's backed on an oval shape that was part of this pack here also. And then I just attached some bells and then I did more um, points out of flowers and then I layered up these cute little um, what do they call them? Flares or whatever. I think they were Tim Holtz ones. I didn't have them in the package anymore, so I'm pretty sure, but I'm pretty sure they're Tim Holtz. So, and then a little piece of the Tim Holtz um, film strip tape. I love that stuff. I used to use it all the time, but I haven't been making very much. Vintage. So then the back side here, I used just some pattern paper. Um, this was just a sticker that I had, and then some um, ribbon. That was the darker, so I use it to just be, you know, the tuck spot. So, and then a bow up here on top, again, from Deborah. And so then I use the um, heart border rectangle to cut out that little piece right here. And then I just used the um, circle die from the uh, Scrap Diva um, Essentials Bundle 1. And then I just cut out two circles and then I put them together with a little Christmas tree um, brad, and I just tucked those in there. So this book is kind of, it's kind of half embellishment book, half, uh, <laughs> half the album. So anyway, um, this piece back here is a piece, um, again, one of these pieces that I used from the collection. And then the star I had in my stash. And then I had these cute little um, embellishments that I bought years ago um, and I haven't used them much because they were silver. The um, snowflake part was silver. So what I decided to do was cut off the silver snowflake and then I cut out some gold snowflakes of my own and then I just backed it, this, these pieces up here so that it looked good with the collection I was using. So, and then I just um, kind of put these on with some glue dots back there. So I think those turned out pretty cute. And then on the next page, um, I used one of the strips from this pack and I just attached it on each side to be a, um, a belly band. And then I have a couple of more heart border rectangle pieces that I just stuck down in there. And then this is another piece from um, this, the pa this pack and um, as the square piece, kind of square piece back here. I guess it's kind of more like a ticket shape. And then again, I cut out the, um, from the strip that I layered on paper, I cut out the little bow that comes with the, the keychain two die from uh, Scrap Diva. And that's what the little bow I put on here. And then I used this little piece from this pack you see, so it mostly has like flamingos and real summery type things, but I found a little piece of flower and I just thought that would look good. Okay, it's kind of a, it's made out of like vellum. And then I just put a cute little um, gold star in there. And then I got some, uh, another pin flag from Scribe Diva that I made a little pin flag and tucked under there. Um, these pieces here are part of the sprigs that come with this door mini album. So I cut it out in gold and some of the, um, uh, like a music fabric, uh, pattern paper. There's a little, back here, there's like a little uh, clear type stamp that um, came off of this sheet that was in the kit. 
So, and, and it had like, it has like a toucan and stuff on it, but I was gonna cover it up. So I just kind of like the black showing through. So that's kind of like my center. And then I have the, the sprigs all kind of coming into there. And then I use this um, little, um, it's, it's like a, I don't know, it's kind of a glass piece and look vintage to me. And it's just like the one piece that I had and it's from years ago. So I use that on top there. I think that turned out pretty cute. And then my last page, I made some more bows with the um, Santa bow set from Scrap Diva. All I, I just didn't put the, you know, the Santa legs hanging down. I just layered them up and then I put some cute little um, gold glittered snowflakes in the center. Um, again, some more of the vellum from this kit and then another one of these um, oval, um, like ephemera type pieces layered up there. And then this is another piece of the uh, vellum and I layered it up on top of, this is another uh, piece of pattern paper that came with it. So I have two there. This one I just stuck an old piece of ephemera I had. That seemed vintage to me, so I added that on. Just I, just, I glued it down so it wouldn't have any dimension. But anyway, I could put a picture there or whatever. So I guess I could still, I could still make this an album, just take these pieces off and use to embellishment once I make, you know, once I add pictures. So I thought that turned out cute. And then I lined all the insides with some more, a different type of the pattern paper that came in the kit. And then these two um, designs here, I liked that it had the red and the black and the green, so it looked a little Christmassy to me. So I went ahead and added those on, and then I put a cute little um, gold star in the centers. And that is it. So it looks like that when the one door's closed. And then, you know, this whole thing is attached to the one side so that it can still, you know, close. And it can stand up really well. And so it can fit a lot more pages in here. I only just did added, you know, the two more pages to it. So I think it turned out really cute. And I was pleased with how I was able to use um, this, some items from this more botanical summer type kit. Um, in it. So there's a ton of stuff that I did not use in it. Um, I love these tickets. I was trying to incorporate this thing, but the red was just a little bit too light for it. So I wasn't able to end up using this, but I think I used some of this pad right here too, that has all kinds of, you know, um, floral pieces. And there's a couple that didn't look, that looked a little bit of a Christmas look to it that I was able to use in here also on my project. So fun kit you get a ton of stuff with this kit and you got two stamps um you got packs of um you know stamps i'm excited to use these but it'll have to be on another project because you know it was just a little bit too light of pink but i think this is really cute with some maggie holmes stuff that i do so anyway tons of stuff that came in this kit i didn't eat look at all these big pretty um ephemera pieces I think I was able to use one little piece. I used one little piece out of here. I think it just has some greenery on it. And so anyway, that is my project share um, using this um, kit that your creative studio was kind enough to send me and asked me to make something out of it. So I will link their information down below so that you can go check it out if you're interested. Um, I think they're a lot of I think they have a lot of vintage you know type items so but you get a ton of stuff and it so anyway I'll link it below I'll also link um, Scrap Diva's um, website and the dies that I used on this project in case you're interested okay thank you so much for watching it and I'll see you guys on the next one bye bye